So tell me, what happens to old horses once they have finished doing what they are supposed to be doing? Well, you heard the old story. They go to the glue factory. And that's not a myth because you can actually take the hide of horses, their bones, their hooves, extract it, and you get a substance called collagen. That's a protein. And the name collagen actually comes from the ancient Greek word kola, meaning glue, and gen, which is generate or to produce. So yeah, you produce glue from them. But collagen has many other functions. You've probably heard of, of various kinds of drinks that contain collagen, uh, supposedly a treatment for arthritis. Uh, these things are maybe a bit more hype than they should be, although there may be something to taking collagen and stimulating the uh, immune system. But that's another story for another time. Right now, we're going to deal with another aspect of collagen. Once you've extracted it from animal bones and hides and you boil it up, you get a substance that you're very familiar with. You get something that we call gelatin. Well, this was the original trade name for gelatin, Knox, and that comes from Charles Knox. This takes us way back to 1894. And uh, his wife was cooking up some uh, bones in the kitchen and making uh, some uh, uh, thickened soup, you know, and that's what gelatin, of course, does. And uh, he had the idea of uh, converting this into a powder that could be reconstituted and sold. And thus the whole business of gelatin began. But the way that we are most familiar with it is, uh, of course, with jello. And that came about just about a year after when a gentleman by uh, the name of uh, Pearly Waite, yeah, that was his real name, uh, thought that uh, maybe you could add some fruit to this uh, gel and make it into an attractive food. And so it happened. And we've had Jell-O since that time. They coined the name way back over 100 years ago. Today, it is one of the most popular desserts. About a million boxes of this are purchased every day and supposedly they are consumed. Well, there's many things that we can do with Jell-O, but would you believe that you can even dye your hair with it? Yes, you can. <laughs> it's a, I don't know whoever thought of this, but it seems to work. You take some hair conditioner, you mix in the, the powder, and you can dye hair with it, any color that you want. There's no risk involved. I think you want to mask your skin with Vaseline to make sure that you don't dye your skin. It will wash out after a couple of, of shampoos. So that's something you may want to experiment with, maybe for, for Halloween. But there's a, another story about uh, Jell-O that kind of is very close to my heart. There's a song called The Periodic Table of the Elements by Tom Lear. Now, Tom Lear was uh, a Harvard music professor, mathematics professor as well, who composed a number of satiric songs, very often to the tunes of, uh, of other songs. Uh, and uh, he, in this case, took uh, Gilbert and Sullivan tune from the Pirates of Penzance and uh, wrote a song about the periodic table. And I've been using that for years and years on my radio show. However, what's the connection between Tom Lair and Jello? Interesting one. Back in 1955, Lair was scripted into the U.S. Army, and he was in an army base where alcoholic beverages were not allowed. But he liked to have an occasional nip. So he had an idea. Uh, he was going to smuggle some alcohol into the army base. How to do this? Because the guards were checking for bottles all the time. So he thought, well, why not take some jello powder? And instead of just using water to make up this reverberating gel, why not use some alcoholic beverage? He tried various ones, and he concluded that vodka was the best. So he brewed up Jell-O with vodka, and he found that the orange flavor one was the one that worked the best. And when they went to the party on the army base, they just took some Jell-O with them. The uh, guards looked at it and said, fine, you can take all the jello that you want. And in they went, and you know what? They had mm, a really great time. <laughs>